Hello viewers, Saeed Ishpak Noor with the topic uh, Carbon and its Compounds, Class 10 Science and I would be restricting my uh, this lecture uh, to bonding in carbon and covalent bond. So let's straightway go to our carbon. Uh, as all of we know that carbon has uh, maintained a sta spatial status in the uh, in the field of chemistry because of its two unique properties number one its ability to form long chain compounds it links number of carbon atoms together and because of this the whole uh, globe uh, has been revolutionized the pharmaceuticals the drugs uh, the textile products um, all are the outcome of this uh, the phenomenon, uh, the, this property of catenation, ability to form long chain compounds. And another important unique uh, property of carbon is it and its compounds is the that they exhibit isomerism. They form isomers, they form compounds of same molecular formula, but different spatial arrangement of their constituent atoms. Moving on, to our actual topic that is the bonding in carbon uh, what is the uh, the bonding structure in carbon so before knowing that we we need to understand what is a chemical bond why 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 chemical bonding uh, the answer to this question lies in the world around us it is instructive to imagine what the world would have looked like without chemical bonds. Without chemical bonds, the world would have only free atoms or ions. We would not have the amazing variety of substances that we see around us. There would have been no water, no food, and there would be no life. So the atoms, molecules, the, when they combine together, they result in the formation of molecules. And these molecules of various shapes, various geometries, they lead to the formation of, of different material and various substances that are around us. So you have understood why bonding is uh, important. If you just see on, on the screen, uh, to bind atoms, we need glue. We need we need a vital we need some vital force to bind atoms together. The electrons present in atoms provide that magical glue. How do atoms? How do ions? How do they form a bond? It's because of the electrons uh, present in them. It's not the the entire electrons. Say the atomic number of carbon is six, so we are having six electrons. No. Only the electrons that are present in the outermost shell participate in the formation of a bond, in the formation of a chemical bond. Say, for example, we have uh, carbon has four electrons in the outermost shell. Four electrons participate. Oxygen has six electrons in its outermost shell. Magnesium has two electrons in its outermost shell. Only these, the electrons present in the outermost shell, participate in the bond formation. In other, in other words, we say we need sufficient electron density between the nuclei of two, uh, two atoms to create a bond. So moving on uh, to our actual topic that is bonding in carbon. To understand the bonding in carbon, we need to, uh, we need to recollect, to recapitulate some of the concepts that we have already studied in our previous classes. See, we... We have studied electrovalent compounds. We have heard about covalent compounds. Electrovalent compounds, if we just recall, these are the compounds which are formed due by gain or loss of electrons. Uh, uh, electrovalent compounds and the compounds which are formed by the sharing of electrons, we call them as covalent compounds. The bond between the two electrovalent comp compounds is uh, one metal and a non-metal and in case of covalent compounds the bond is between two non-metals the the best example in front of us is the sodium chloride uh, the hydrochloric acid uh, uh, sodium, sodium chloride the bond between them is uh, the electrovalent bond and in between HCl it is a covalent bond so let's focus back on our carbon see carbon has an atomic number six with its four electrons in its outermost shell to attain stability carbon either has to gain four electrons or lose four electrons let me make this concept first clear what do we mean by 
uh, attaining stability by uh, by attain by attaining stability we mean that the electrons present in the outermost shell for for a bond formation it is necessary to complete the octet the octet rule states that when a chemical bonds when chemical bonds are formed the atoms involved in bond formation achieve the electronic configuration of a noble gas the noble gas is accepting helium have eight electrons in their outermost shell be it neon argon krypton xenon xenon or radon this rule applies to both covalent and ionic compounds so in case of carbon to attain st stability carbon has to gain four electrons or lose four electrons if it gains four electrons and becomes carbon four negative ion it will be difficult for the nucleus with six protons to hold on the 10 electrons similarly if the carbon loses four electrons and becomes carbon four positive cation a large amount of energy is required to remove four electrons leaving behind six protons in the nucleus holding on to just two electrons so carbon has another method to share electrons not only carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen they achieve noble gas co configuration through this so we can uh, uh, moving on to uh, uh, to this uh, diagram again see carbon has four valence electron on the left side you see four single bonds so carbon can form four bonds four single bonds are attached to the carbon and on the right side of the diagram we know that hydrogen the atomic number of hydrogen is one hydrogen has one electron in its outermost shell and the same outermost electron is it is valence valence electron so four hydrogen atoms having well one having one valence electron in their outermost shell create bond with the four valence electrons of the carbon as you can see in the diagram uh, um, in the diagram four hydrogen atoms attached to the carbon carbon has valence c of 4 that's why carbon forms methane ch4 as you saw in the previous uh, in the previous screenshot it was shown by van thoof and libel that the four valencies of carbon are pointed towards four corners of a tetrahedron this is so in a molecule like methane as well as in diamond now let's come to the covalent bond as we know that noble gases have complete outer electron shells which makes them stable in order to be stable atoms come together and form a bond to achieve the noble co gas configuration this coming together this coming together and sharing of electron pairs hydrogen comes uh, an atom of hydrogen comes in contact with an uh, uh, atom of hydrogen it results in the formation of a chemical bond that we call as covalent bond atom of chlorine comes in contact with an atom of chlorine so we call this as covalent bond and we will be dealing certain examples uh, of covalent bond as well uh, the uh, the chemical bond so uh, let's reflect a covalent bond is formed by the sharing uh, sharing of an electron pair between two atoms so that both the atoms get their octet complete we call that as an covalent bond the molecules formed as a result of sharing of electron between uh, uh, between atoms uh, are called covalent molecules so we have different types of covalent bonds just focus on hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen we have single covalent bonds they are formed by sharing one electron pair between two atoms in which each atom contributes one electron as you can see in the example of hydrogen we have double covalent bonds they are formed by the sharing of two electron pairs two atoms in which each atom contribute to two electron we have uh, uh, see the exam uh, example oxygen atom forms covalently bonds uh, by two atoms of oxygen sharing two pair of electrons similarly nitrogen atom forms covalent bond and we call them as triple covalent bonds they are formed by the sharing of three electron pair between two atoms in which each atom contributes three electron the two nitrogen atoms share three pair of pairs of electrons thank you uh, we can uh, also 
just check in the difference between the covalent and uh, the uh, ionic bond. We say ionic bond, these are formed by the transfer of electrons from one atom to another atom, leading to the formation of positively charged and negatively charged species, to whom we call as cations and anions. In case of, uh, uh, you just see the example of NaCl in the formation of NaCl, uh, Na, uh, sodium loses electron to form Na positive, chlorine gains electron to form Cl negative, and electrostatic force of attraction between oppositely charged species is created resulting in the formation of ionic band bond in case of HCl on the right side bond between hydrogen and uh, uh, chlorine is purely covalent because both uh, are non-metals there is difference in electronegativity of hydrogen and chlorine shared electrons pair get attracted towards chlorine due to the polar due to this polarity is induced in the bond hence hydrogen chloride can be termed as polar bond thank you